Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Monday, January 20th. And I hope uh, those of you in America are enjoying your day off if you got one. It's Martin Luther King Jr.'s. Uh, we commemorate his birthday on this day. Anyway, so it's a federal holiday and there will be no banking today. Okay, Monday, 9.56 a.m. I have been saving this in my email to share with you for four days now. See, it's the 20th, five days. I wanted to be able to get through it, and I kind of forgot about it the other day. You see, day before yesterday, when I made a video and I got through it. Anyway, I was going through email this morning. I said, I'm going to share this because I don't feel any red flags. It's not uh, exactly the way we're used to getting the message, but you know the Lord is God of all, and he can give a message any way he wants to. All right, it's by, um, it's titled, Many Changes to Come. It was put up January 12th, 2020, but it came through on um, Dawn's email letter, January 14th, okay, called Many Changes to Come, put up by Melinda Goss. As I was called into his presence, I received words and visions to be passed on. God bless you all much. Love your sister in Christ. Peace in the storm. As the storm clouds gather and the winds blow in, the grass fades and dies. Step onto the rock. Climb the mountain. See, she wasn't real clear. Was that a scripture or words she heard that was the only part that I was like I'm not real sure what she means by that but then she goes on to say I was then shown lava flowing down a mountain see this is was put up on the 12th and then that volcano blew up around that time and it was expected to blow up again and I don't remember where, but some of you, I'm sure, remember. So she says, I was then shown lava flowing down a mountain, and I heard, quote, more to come, many changes to come, unquote. I also heard, quote, your safety is in me. I am your refuge. I am your peace in the midst of the storm, unquote. So I believe that that first line was not a word from him, or she would have put it in quotes, but I'm not sure. All right. I then was standing on the ground and began to see the earth. Okay, she's in a vision now. I then was standing on the ground and began to see the earth split beneath my feet. I heard, I am your peace. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Unquote. I then heard, and she should have put quote here, pray for my children, because all the words from the Lord she put in all caps. Okay. Pray for my children to return to me. Tell them to return to me. Tell them many changes are coming. Return to me now. And it's, he signs it, Yeshua, Redeemer, Ever-Present Helper. Okay, so I do believe it is words from the Lord. It might not have been typed up exactly like we would like it, but just 
take it to the Lord if you don't believe it or just tuck it in the back of your mind and remember the Lord is just saying many changes are coming return to me now and he wants you to pray for his children to return to him okay so if you get nothing else out of this at least let us all try to remember in our prayers at night to pray for the backslidden now why would we have to do that Jesus is asking us to pray for his children to return to him see there's another yet another word from the Lord that confirms we must repent we cannot turn away from the Lord and expect to go to heaven he wants us to pray for them and tell them to return to him tell them many changes are coming return to me now okay so that's all I have I plead the blood of Jesus over this video the internet connection over each and every one of you our computers or devices and your internet connection so we can stay connected until we're out of here and God bless each and every one of you as well and as always I'm gonna say let us all be found worthy to escape these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. All right then. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.